Hello everyone! Welcome back for some more Let's Play Spectrobe. So, we are at, uh, I, I fixed some of the sound issues, hopefully. I played around with some settings and it should be good. Uh, but now we can actually head off to the next planet. So, uh, we did unlock the card input, but I'm gonna be real chief. This can break the game. If you've played a Mega Man Battle Network, you know what card input is, right? Especially Star Force. I mean, I guess I can show it. Sure. I might as well show off what happens when you get the, uh, when you get, when you bought the game. So, when you bought the game, there were Spectrobes cards. And the Spectrobes cards, you got a couple that always came with the game, and then you got some random ones, and there were, like, special ways of getting other ones. Um, so, just ignore the slowdown, that's because I'm opening up Chrome, and you know how that is. So, it did come with a couple special ones that you could input. Uh, let's- I'm just gonna input one that's not gonna immediately break the game. Uh, so let's go with, for example, here. Uh, so we got this little boy right here. Okay, so it's gonna be... Now, the way it worked is you would put the card on the touch screen, and then you would have to press it where the holes were. Because there was holes through the card. So, for example, we'd go one... Two... Three... Four, and then five is about here. I'm just free looking at this. Six is about here, and seven is right about in between them. Nope. Okay. So this this will make this makes it hard because you have to pretty much guess where they go. Okay. So then, so then it's like one, and then down to about. A little bit higher okay and now we're gonna get six is so then from the bottom up a couple across it's like trying to do math and then seven is again kind of in the middle here no oh this is gonna be really tough huh there's no way I can just easily do it I just gotta keep trying till I get it That's way too high. So no, it's actually, it's it's right in the middle. The, I think the last one is the one I'm screwing up on, because I have no point of reference for that one. Okay, so this is about here. That's that's almost too, too high too. This is about part way up. And this one is right in the middle. There we go. Hey, we did it. Access granted. So you pop in the code. And we got a special colored Komainu. This is a yellow color one. So that is a cool thing, right? There are some you can get that are super exclusive, and there's some that I do want to show off. Um, however, at the same time, there's even, you can get cubes, you can get certain minerals. Um, the only problem is they, they will break the game. Uh, so... I might... I might as well get some of the special ones. So okay, let's let's go with the first special one. So, because they they did a kind of cool thing where some of them you could only get through cards, and these ones are ones that are specifically made for the the sequel. You can get sequel spectrobes early. So let's go with this one here. One, two three, four, so then five is about here, six is about here, and seven is about here. Nice, good. So this is a Spectrobe that is exclusive to using the cards. It is Windora, and then uh, you can kind of choose between these three forms. There's regular, there's Ortex, and I just chose Sindora just because he gets these big dumb things on his arms. Uh, so this is Sindora. So again, he is exclusive to uh, putting in the codes. Another one that is exclusive here is uh, this one here. So this one, I had the card for, for uh, Windora, the regular, as well as this one. So one, two... Three, four, and then five is about here. 
it's a grid, so if you can kind of see where it would be on the grid, you should be fine. And then seven, there we go. This one is slightly less cool, I'm gonna be honest. It's Villa Chroma. It is a chrome version of the final form of our bug boy that we have here. So uh, he also comes in silver and gold. So if you want to get him in different colors, you can. Um, they are unique forms that you can only get through cards. The rest are ones that you can get otherwise. So it is kind of a neat thing um, that you can get all these unique ones. And some of them are even ones that have unique weapons or, you know, they come pre pre-existing with a few things. Uh, so it is cool, it's cool, but it's gonna break the game, so I'm not gonna use them too much here, right? Because it, it is it is a case of putting in, essentially, cheat codes. Cheat codes that, to get, you would need to buy, for example, the, uh, the player's guide, or there was a whole bunch of ways of doing it. So let's go to our... If we go to our database here, we can actually check out some of the ones that we've unlocked here. Uh, so... 23 here so they're they're in like uh they're in like rows so you can sort of see it's like you get like the one right so you can check out the whole line so Vilar has a hard external shell resembles a green caterpillar he's very clearly red he has standard search abilities and is rather easy to control I mean he's better than our other guys actually but we go down to the bottom here what's the other one then huh which one am I missing? Because we had Windora. Okay, there's Windora. There's... Then the Villa Chroma. What is 24? Which one is Spectrum number 24? It, it, huh? Which one is that? I need to look up a list then. List of Spectrobes and Spectrobes. 24 is what? Oh, shoot. Doesn't actually say because it's, it's, all, it's all blocked. Huh. Crazy. I don't know what that one is. But we can check them out here. So yeah, you can get different colors and you have the parts rotation. So, when Dora possesses the ability to materialize out of thin air, he always drifts through the air like wind. Is always accompanied by a breeze. Little is known about him because he is not one you're supposed to have right now. I mean, you can, but I mean, because you, you can get him by starting the game. So it's not too crazy to have him by now. And then we have Villachroma. Villachroma is a rare and unique mutant. He's basically a mobile cannon. His shell is constructed of a hard metal. Gives him superior defensive capabilities. I like the fact that he's just a walking motor cannon. That's pretty cool. So, let's go to our uh, incubator. And let's go to these guys. Oh shoot, he's ready to evolve. Well, we get to see what he evolves into here. Tap it open. And that is his second form, Villa Masta, which is like a big samurai-looking dude. Buggo has become Villa Masta. Nice. Cool. So, uh, for one, let's put these guys in our, in our, uh, our, our, oh, we can't put, we'll line them up there. Uh, we did get our yellow boy, so let's, let's evolve the yellow one to get a unique color there for sure. Right, because we, we, we want to get him. And we'll, we'll keep leveling him up, too, because we want that. Okay. See, he's yellow. Different color. Every Spectrobe has three colors they can be. It's a unique little thing about them, for sure. Uh, and actually, no, let's... Because we can fit him in our party. Let's let's get Villamasta into our party. So let's go with... Uh, bring him in. And we'll put in... Coma again. Sure. Yeah, because we got three spots we can put them all in. Let's do that. Let's go back. Let's go to line up. Such a funny term. Just line up, everyone. Villa Master, Windora, and Villa Chroma. There we go. So we have no blue dudes right now, which is a problem. But look, our attack, our defense they are both up. I think that's agility, and if the other one is something up, right? I don't know. But if we were to switch him out for, like, him, right? Now he's even more speed, which is good, because I don't really like using you, so let's get you instead. We'll use our Villa Master. He has a lot more defense, you know, less there. What's the coma icon mean? Oh, shoot, do they get bonuses for being with ones that they grew up with? I never knew about that. See, because in coma there... 
Interesting. Well. Huh. Neat. Didn't know that they actually get bonuses for that. That's new. I've never noticed that little heart icon. Okay. So, did we give you the cubes that we got? I think we did, yeah. Right, we, we, we gave you the cubes. Yes. So, let's move on to the next planet. So, let's go talk to Gina, and she'll be like, Yo, let's go! Ready to go? Our next mission is to save Professor Wright on Genshi. Let's head off to Genshi. Just touch your planet you'd like to visit. Our current orders are to go to Genshi, the first planet of the Nanaira system. All this talk about planet-eating creatures really has me worried. I hope the professor's alright. I'm sure they'll be fine. Well, the first planet here, Genshi. So you can rotate it. As you can see, it says Area 1. There will be more areas that you'll get to go to. A volcanically active planet covered in lush forests. So you can probably tell what sort of uh, element we'll be dealing with. I actually don't remember many uh, planets having more than one area, really. All right. Here we are. Yes, yeah, so that's where we are, but let's go. And we want to be looking for spectrobes that have better search capabilities, of course. It's kind of our thing that we're looking for. So, yo, listen to that prehistoric jungle drum. You love it. So let's search around here. Searching for anything that we can dig up. There doesn't seem to be much in the landing zone. Alright, cool. God, if, if you had to touch always, it would suck, but you can just press a button. Oh, I forgot these little weird head people. Professor Wright said he found a fossil with some unique part attached to it. Ah, we'll be dealing with those later for sure. I mean, we already seen with that with, like, Windora there. Kind of how that goes. Is there, like, nothing around here? Okay, we got some. Again, we're kind of saving up for that, uh, that Giga tool to make our life easier. But we also want to grab as much as possible, level up our stuff. The big things, though, are going to be looking for new Spectrobes. And looking for, uh, any sorts of... Cubes. Well, there's a spectrobe right there in the middle of the ground. Is it new? No, it's a shack in. We're good. Although later on, like I said, you will get, if you excavate, you can get special parts. So we will be wanting to do a few there. You know, a Professor Wright loves Genshi Forest because it's filled with so many rare fossils. Yeah, so if you see a little section like that where. There's like grass going up in a small area. It's usually not there. It's pretty explicit where the stuff is going to be. There's only a couple areas where I remember it being like the chance of finding one that you want is very rare. There's a couple that are extremely rare. There's one that gave me so much trouble to find. I'm going to talk about it when we get to it for sure. But uh, for now, because I tried to actually complete this as a kid. This is, a, this is before I got my R4 chip, so, like, I actually was playing all the games that I got, and so, you know. Hello, cube. What cube be this? I don't think you can excavate cubes with the Giga Tool. I think that's something that is, uh, you gotta do manually. But once you get all the cubes in an area, or you're getting all the cubes, you know, once, once you know there's nothing really left for cubes... You don't have to worry, and you can just avoid them. The Eta Cube, that's new. Okay. Alright, we got some more minerals. It should just be a attack. Again, once you're, like, proficient with grabbing them, then the Giga Tool is so nice to just immediately get. We're working on that, though. Because it costs a, costs a cool 3,000, which I don't remember. Like, we're at 900 right now, so it shouldn't be... A ton to get. I think just as we're going to do battles, we, we will get enough for that. See, so yeah, I looked it up. The basic requirements are level plus time in the incubator. So it'll be like, uh, that's why our Villa Master was able to evolve because he was in there long enough. And that does count for time outside of the game. It uses, you know, the real world clock. 
uh, and then otherwise just a general level. So pretty easy, not something to worry about. Uh, I didn't take a look at like the evolving to the next level requirements though, and that's a different thing, right? Okay, so look around here. Nope. And if it's like blocked by stuff, because you're gonna have to tap it. It, it can't be a place that's blocked. It has to be very readily visible. I'm good without a mineral right now. I'm looking for looking for more important stuff. So yeah, this is our this is our uh, kind of base area here that we're we're starting with. This is the the research area for fossils. As always, like you know, go to corners, go to little sections where, like right here, you might be like, oh, I wonder if there's something here. There's not, but. A little, little area like this, little, little, any little jutting places. There's a bunch of minerals right there. Again, I can, I can work on that off screen after if I need to. Being an RPG, I can very easily just chill out and not worry about it. Is Lapdanut's research on the fossils excavated on this planet? Cool. We, we, we got that. Look at this little secret area. Yeah, you know it. Fossil? It's another shack in. Never mind. But if it's a secret area, this might be really good. Nope, it's just that. But that's fine. Because this is this one's super fast to clean out. Yeah, see? Nice. I forget how, like, how hard it is to level up your, um... Your excavation level. I don't even remember what really determines that. What created that black vortex? I hope Professor Wright is okay. Hello, hello. Another Komainu. That's fine. Again, till we get, till we get stuff that we really want from them. Oh, that's a new one. Okay. We want to we wanna be rather careful with this. Clean it out ever so gently. Okay, it took damage. It's fine. <laughs> Big old tail. Let's go ham on the, uh, the mouse there. This is a great way to play and not destroy your DS screen. Because, boy, geez, that was a problem. It's the, the DS screen, like, you wouldn't really scratch it, but you could mess it up by going ham with a non-proper stylus, right? Oh. Yeah, there's nothing we can actually do on that, but that is a hint at places we can go perhaps well let's uh let's look for the professor i guess we've explored around here a lot okay so the professor isn't here here so we got to find someone who will tell us where they are black vortexes are appearing here okay so yeah we're gonna have to deal with that hello you're blocking a path you must be from the Nana Air Planet Patrol, but we've been inspecting you. Professor Wright went to the forest section as possible, never came back. I wish I could provide more help, but my staff is way too scared to go in the forest right now. Lately, there's been weird vortex sightings in there. These things scare my men stiffer than sticks. But geez, that sounds like they're very frightened. I'm sorry, we can only offer this. Here, take it. Got a jetpack. Yes! The jetpack allows you to instantly return to the ship at any time. It's really good. So, how, how do I use it again? Isn't I forget how? Do I tap him, or is it is it on the menu? Status, or do wait? Don't I just pop it in my items? Is it in my case? Is that just where my stuff goes? I forget where you actually use it. All right, and then you yeah, then you go to use it there. Also, I didn't we get some equipment that we didn't put on. I think I totally forgot to actually equip it. Okay, so yeah, let's equip our sword. Right? So the sword is a sword. The blaster 
is a blaster. The suit, we still got the regular suit, but yeah, the sword is increase your attack, not a lot. So this one, it gives, increases your defense, and when you hit them, they get shot away. So the glove is actually really good because that defense up is nice, and it also, you know, it pushes them away far. So again, you're not going to be doing much with Rallin in combat, so as such, you know, any little bit is nice, but at the same time, you just want to push him away more than anything, so the glove is kind of the best. That's another Komaini, we're good. If I was smart, I would have planned ahead of time and got, like, a sheet of, like, what are all the spectrums that can be here? But I'm not smart. Got just a bunch of those. Again, we'll get- we'll- we'll, we'll excavate those later. Okay, well. I wonder what the square rainbow things are. I found one buried just over there! Okay, so, cool. You told me there's a cube here. Where is it? said just over there. That doesn't narrow it down, dude. Ha dang. Well, shoot. Now you, now you got me acting... Acting like I gotta explore. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, like, some of them won't run at you, some of them won't. Okay, so it's gotta be in, like, a little nook, right? Dang! You told me it's here. Ah, there we go. Cube it up. Let's grab this boy. And then we'll go do some battles too, because that does give us mine energy. Which we want. Good enough. Sigma! Oh, we're on that grind set, and we leveled up our excavation! Heck yeah, alright, so let's let's deal with these guys. Alright. So here we go, we got our bu our, our new buggo boy, so let's let's use him. So yeah, he kinda just whacks his head. That's a big boy! That's a large lad. Okay, so let's just go like that to get get you away. So his super move is a massive hit. Dang. That's pretty good. Alright. So yeah, we can also then switch our weapon to the sword. See so yeah, the sword will do... Oops. One damage. And it does knock him down, I guess. Uh, the blaster is actually not bad, because it does... Like, it does stay away, right? It is something you can just kind of use there. It's not great, but it is something. So let's go with... So this dude is red up here, so... He actually did good damage to him. I did 20-something? Dang. Yeah, wow, okay. But as you see, they're getting stronger. They're getting stronger. Got some of that. How much? So we're getting 150. It's not going to be too many battles till we can start to get our uh, our thing there. Okay, let's do another. And let's see if we got a uh, a new a new uh, big shock thing. So yeah. So the enemies are pretty much like they're all amoeba like, right? So, but some of them are very humanoid, and it's. I'm not going to say disturbing, but it kind of is. So what do we have? Is it going to be fire now? No, it's still electric. Okay. Alright, so let's now go. Yeah, see, that's what y'all like to do. That's why I really like him, because that double hit is so easy to do. And it does good damage. do a hit here. It is a unique gameplay style, right? Where, you know, you're kind of positioning your dudes like, like options in a, in a, you know, oh, got a basic serum, nice. 
like options in a uh, shooter, right? I like that. I really do. And again, this combat style is gone after this game. It is just a situation where they moved it from, from this to another style, which is equally cool, uh, but definitely a lot more regular. They had an idea with this, though, and I, I appreciate them going for something so unique with the double sort of working with them in tandem. Like, I can't even think of another game that follows that sort of idea where it's like, yeah, you know, you, you got you got dudes that are, are following you, you know, right right there. Okay, we'll, we'll grab a couple of these, why not? Now that we're getting further in, we'll start to get better, I say, as it's just a low-level one here, of course. See, I have no actual idea what the excavation level does. I should probably look that up. I'm going to type in... Spectrobes excavation level. What does it do? Uh, let's see here. Looking to see anything that the level changes. I don't see anything. Yeah, what what excavation? Let's see here. Apparently it goes up to level 10 for a lot. That's crazy. Um, does it actually do anything? I don't think it does. <laughs> oh, people are saying you need to be level 3 to use the Giga Tool? Well, okay. Alright, guess, guess I'll need to get that then, for sure. So we will work on that at probably, probably get to about 3,000, probably. Either 3,000 or 15, or 445, rather. That's, that's what it's gonna be. All right, so we got hello, hello. Can, wait, isn't there is there a way to like press A on it? No, I think that's in the sequel where you can then press A on it to pick it up. Right, hello, you're new. See, this is what I love. It's like I don't even remember what this one is, so I'm like, you know, looking at him and going like, yo, what do we got? Which one is this one? Looks like a shrimpy boy. Looks like a ye oldie shrimp fella. Dang it. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go left and right. Right? Clean it up. Clean it up. Okay, so we're obviously missing some more. So let's, yeah, continue the dig here. There we go. Just about extracted. Just need a little bit more from somewhere. Somewhere. Dang it. It's fine. Yeah, I have no idea where this dude is. I feel like I've completely got him done, but... Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Pop the blower. I gotta say, some of these tools I never use. Like, the ones that are here. Like, there's a bunch that I just straight up never use. It's right here. No. Must be a, just a single spot on it. Somewhere. Ah, whatever. I'm picking them up. Ne Negu pod. Okay. It's a Negu pod. I see. So let's go keep exploring. It's a big wide open area. Let's crawl up on this hill. There's two of them even. All right. Nice. Big damage. Good. Yeah, see? I love th this dude. The Spikin is like... I think... Well, I think it's... Is, Spi is it Spikinor in this one? He has a different name. Spikin is... Spikin is the, the baby form. 
I don't remember what his, his complete one is. And get, get a hit in. Get a hit in. Good job. Nice. Leveled up, 200 Gura, nice. Okay, well there's a little bit more up here I want to explore. Yeah, just keep keep on looking for, for little areas. And it's not like, again, it's not like there's not stuff in the middle of the ground. It just, I don't usually find as much there. I think that was my problem with finding some of them uh, when I played this game originally, is that there's a difficult sort of, like, thing you gotta learn, which is like, yeah, you do want to go and explore, you know, everywhere for the stuff, not just around the edges, even though that's where most of them are. There's definitely some areas where, you know, the best ones are in the middle of literally nowhere. Okay, come on. There we go. Got that. Now, there is, uh, before you can use the, um, we'll go down, because that looks like a new area. Before you can use the gear tool, there's also dynamite, which will blow 90% of it up. And the only problem is there's a chance it can damage the spectrobe, which isn't good. Or I think, or no, I think it brings the, I think it brings the damage up to essentially the threshold right before it breaks fully. And so it's sort of like, you pick... If you want to 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 get it with you know a hundred percent damage or not. See, even the shockwave is pretty good. He took a bit of damage there, but he's pretty he's pretty defensive, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Look at that extra damage too. Oof! Ow! Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, it costs a lot of your your act gauge essentially to uh, to use your your stuff. So there's really no reason you're going to be using uh, Rallin's attacks, with the exception of one very difficult boss, which you can absolutely cheese with the blaster. And I remember that, and it was so funny when I discovered that as a kid. This boss nearly killed me. Uh, so you know what? Let's go to our battle set and let's switch around our guys. Let's get let's because you know they're, they're some of them are lower on HP. So let's get you brought up because we got to be using these guys too. And let's get you brought up. Okay. So we'll 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 give, we'll give these guys a bit of a go in battle. Get them leveled up and stuff. Okay, this has got to be something here. Yeah, I knew it. Again, look look at this area, and you're like, this has got to be stuff. Come on, let's get a new cube. We got Sigma, we got Ada, let's get something else. Considering where this is, I feel like this has got to be something new. Pick it up. And never mind, it's another Sigma. Okay. And we got here... Green... I think red is an A, if I'm correct. So if you want to get a really good one, you get a get a red one. It's either red or blue. I mean, those are the two remaining colors, so. Which we won't be finding any of those anytime soon. Cool, we got another composite mineral. There are even a few input codes for some super rare minerals. Uh, so if you want to level up some dudes right away, you can pop those in right at the start. In fact, I might do those later just to just to get a few starting stats going. But uh, okay, well, let's go and head through this area. Yeah, this, this connects to the same sort of areas as before there. It's, the camera in this game is not the best, like, that's undeniable. Uh, the sequel changes how it looks quite a bit, so it, it runs differently. Did not mean to press that button. Alright, so...
Uh, it's just another one of those guys. Again, for now, because we don't have access to custom parts, I'm not too worried. Alright, so let's, let's do a battle with these guys. Now, because our dudes are level 1, they might be a bit weaker. However, we do have the, the, the Villa Chroma here, who is a evolved Spectro. So he'll automatically be dealing some good damage here. Uh, as you can see, his base attack does 3. Oh, right, I remember his shotgun blast was so good. He, like, yeah, he goes up. He locks on and then just blows to heck up. See, as you can see, these dudes are like incorporating plants into themselves, which is very interesting looking, right? They're they're not just the same dudes, but they're dudes mixed with the local fauna. It's scary. I've I, there. It's the uh, the the flood for kids essentially, right? Alright, so let's just finish off this guy now. So yeah, he just kind of... Oop! Well, he, there's no guard point on that, but look, he's very defensive as you can see. Yeah, yeah, you can get the last hit in, buddy. Good job. Hiya. yeah Good stuff, some more good -a. Okay, what do we got here? I do like how, again, we're meant to be looking for this scientist lady. Lady? No. Is- no, Wright's not a lady. Right? I actually don't remember. For some reason, I want to say that they're going to do the twist that, uh, Professor Wright is a- is a- is a woman. I think that's how it's going to be, and then they're going to be like, dang, I feel like a bad guy now. And, uh, I don't- I don't actually remember. I'm going to be real chief. This was a game that I have fond memories of, but it's been so long that this is not 100% remembering. Which I think is nice, the ability to actually go back and play a game that I remember enjoying, but now that I'm an adult, I can actually, you know, think about it. So let's grab this. gonna feed this to my dude so good all right so climb on up here I actually I remember not doing a ton of excavating when I first played the game I think it just came down to the fact that I was like why would I do that when I can just battle and gain levels uh, ignoring the fact that it's kind of the whole conceit of the game, you know? There's gotta be, gotta be some more in this corner here, right? Yeah! See, I like it when they bunch it up like this. Hello? What's this? Where are you? Is this it's another Spikeian? Yeah, it just is. Okay. That's fine. Again, till we get, till we get custom parts, I'm not too worried. get this done. The fact that there's no real downside to letting the parts break is, like, these things, the minerals, it just makes life easier. Okay. Get some more of this. Part 1 hasn't gone up yet, and I have no idea whether this is going to be a runaway success from people who, like, love this game series or have no idea what it is, or if it's going to be another, like, 24 views sort of thing. I'm fine either way. I play this for me more than anyone else, right? I wanted to replay this and show it off to people, so even if only three more people learn about Spectrobes, then heck yeah, man, I've done my due diligence. There we go, pick that up. You do get more experience for fully excavating it, but like Lamo, Lamau, why would I do that? Time is more precious than anything else. Cool, big whiffs. Okay, so let's let's oh let's line this guy up. 45 damage, that ain't bad. Now, see, that's that's the use case of just he goes up and he explodes. It's so good. 
and it is like super homing. What is what is your enhanced attack? Oh, Beyblade. I see. Well, it'd be cool if you hit, dude. The the only problem with with this dude is of course the fact that you know, he can be hit during it even by other dudes. So you just have to be careful. But there was a reason that I had just had two of these guys and would just send them out left and right. Like that was that was my team. I would just send them out left and right. Okay. So let's check right here. Oh, look at this little cavern. This little space. Yeah, I knew it. I knew there was gonna be stuff here. I do find it funny that one of the reasons that I didn't play this game at first was because, you know, I wanted to play it through DS and there was like no DS capture cards. Uh, and eventually it just got to the point where, well, now emulating the DS is super easy. I don't think we had an Epsilon. Uh, you know, I, I, I did a full 3DS playthrough before I did this. Ooh. You are new. I don't remember what you are. Okay. I, I can't even tell what you are in terms of 3D. When I see you, once you've been taken out of the little, the little thing, I'll know. I can't tell what you are. Yeah, so it was like, you know, I wanted to play this, but the, infamously, there are, like, no ways of recording, D, like, no uh, 3DS capture card makers anymore. And, like, that kind of sucks, because I want, have a, had a bunch of, you know... 3DS games I wanted to play, and some of them are just not viable for emulator. I mean, like, you know, Kid Icarus Uprising and stuff, that's not happening, right? Uh, until someone makes a way to play it otherwise, which I think they could. You know, they could make a way to do it. They won't. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. There we go. Oh, the Samupod! This dude's awesome! Oh, and he does have custom parts! Sick! Yeah, I remember this dude being sick, actually. So we're definitely going to be getting this dude, especially because he got the custom parts. So you can start to get him now. Nice. Um, yeah, there's uh, just, it's very easy to emulate these consoles now. So for the most part, I guess that's what I'll be doing. Right? Because it works. And it's funny because I found the 3DS very easier to emulate than the, the DS. But it might just be because differences in architecture of the console itself. The only thing is, I don't remember which of these dudes is actually really good for excavating, so we might actually need to get a second one if we want to have one of these guys as an excavator in the future, too. Okay, so... There's a little, little one right there. Let's just come over here. What do we got? Yeah, it's fine. Waste of my time right now. Okay, well, let's go to where we need to go, then. Which, where is it? I don't actually know. So let's just keep looking. I think they said the forest, right? This is not a forest at all. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, these two dudes must have a new, a new super, right? I don't think they're going to be electric elemental. I think it will be an explosion with these guys. Let's see. So let's go with this. This gets, I remember, heavily nerfed in the second game, too. Extremely nerfed. No, it is still electric. Must just be based on who's kind of in your, your first thing there. Okay, so let's just start off with this, because, yeah, you're, you're right in firing range. And pow! Ah, it's so good. And it's it's the fact that he homes so well, because one of the one of the hard parts of this game is the fact that you know, aiming is difficult, right? But here it's like they can do it pretty good, and that's why he's really good. All right, get some of that. You don't get much from battle. You really don't. Right. So like I said, we need to go into the forest itself. This is a mountainous area. So we need to go down, for sure. 
And like part of me is like, oh, but there's gotta be stuff here. Oh, I need to, I need to see. Okay, so. Get this boy. And we'll, we'll check the fossil too, right? Because if it's here, well, we'll see what it is. Epsilon. Okay, so fossil is egg. That's fine. Mineral. Just level one, that's fine. I mean, every little bit does count, but... Yeah. That's the attack, attack I want. Because it's so quick to get. I got a ball them. You get that super fast. Alright, so... Oh, hello. Welcome to my personal space. Three SWAT traps. Okay. It is nice you can just, you know, still sort of send them out. Good. Ow, that did a lot of damage to me. Okay, he's not going to get hit. He's... Oh, okay. He's not taking a ton of damage. That's a good thing. Yeah, just, just go, go for the nearest dude, bud. Okay. Ah, I whiffed. I didn't go to his special. Just, there we go, blow up. One thing that this, yeah, like the camera angle isn't great for battles. Um, and unlike some games, uh, you know, if, if an enemy's off screen, they still 100% exist, right? So go and get him. Nice. Shoddy to the face. Beyblade. Oh, is he actually... Oh, very cool. Just my man whiffed so many times. Okay. So yeah, because the dude is a level 3 Spectro, but getting him to level up is is tough, right? He has so much, so many uh, stats there. Oh, well. I should have switched my party. Hey, are you Professor Wright? Yes, I am, but don't come any closer. I was studying fossils and, and suddenly I was surrounded by these vortexes. Now I'm trapped. You must leave the forest at once, young man. It's too dangerous here. Sir, I'm with the Nana Euro Planetary Patrol. I'm here to help you. You came for me? Just step back, stay calm, and I'll take care of the rest. Spectrobes, prepare for battle. Let's do this. Ikazay! <laughs> oh, I freaking love his random Japanese because you know, you know they just want to appeal to the weebs. It's so good. It's so good. Uh-oh, what is good is the fact that my party is not good for these guys because these guys are blue and I need to use green and my green boy is not the strongest. We can send him out and see how he does. He's just whiffing. That's all he's doing. Can you even hit more than once? No, not really. Okay, well, let's just reset the battlefield here. That's another thing. By doing this, you basically reset them back to the center, and that is very useful, right? If you're like, ah, there's just too much going on right now. Right, you, then you can go like this. Send up this boy. Yeah, very, very minimal damage. I was gonna be mad if it was a triple whiff, but I can handle one whiff. Okay, you're actually doing real good damage to the blue, which is a bit strange. Wow. Never mind, that was a big whiff. There we go. Now, are we going to have to actually battle three tornadoes? Let's see here. Nope, we're good. Professor, hurry, let's get out of here. And we bring him back with us. Uh, thank you, officer. You've saved my life. I'm still not sure how I got myself into this mess. I was so excited over an extremely rare spectrum fossil I found. I guess I got careless and forgot how dangerous the forest can be. Did you say 
you found a rare fossil? Yes, I've come across some fossils here that possess extremely unique qualities. And not just here in Genshi, I've seen them elsewhere as well. But taking them from the ground isn't easy. You must be careful not to harm them when digging them up. If you're careful, you can excavate them with their own custom parts intact. You interested in fossils? Here, take this rare one as a token of my gratitude. We got an owl pod. This one still needs to be analyzed to discover how his custom cards can be utilized. Well, we saved him. Mission complete. The good news is now we can go and excavate all those as well. I I'll show off how the um, I'll show off how the the jetpack works because it's pretty fun. You just drag that boy up, Oop. drag it up to the spot, use the jetpack, yes, and then he just new. Very useful. So first off, we got cubes. And let's see if any of them are function cubes. I think most of them are not function cubes. I think most of them are just, like, you know. It's the Epsilon Cube. I wonder what it'll tell us. Seems to have information about Spectrum's with unique custom parts. It says that custom parts can be used to modify Spectrum's body. It also says that Spectrum's with custom parts look stronger. Look stronger. They just visually look cooler and have different names. But it seems you can't attach custom parts for child Spectrum's. That's all it says. Wait, there's more. It says, oh, it's special functionality. It will upgrade the incubator so you can attach custom parts to spectrums. Nice. That's good. Now we can attach custom parts to spectrums right here in the lab. Go on and try it. Lab system has been upgraded. Nice. You can now can be used to attach custom parts to spectrums. What about the next one? Another cube. Great work. This is the Ada cube. It's uh, scribed with text about the battle capabilities of Spectrums. It seems that during battle, different Spectrums play different roles. It, you can set up to six Spectrums of the Prismon. Two of these can emerge to fight in battle. The remaining four lend support to by two by lending their strong points. Yeah. We got that. I think we had one more, right? So you found yet another cube. Let's take a look at it. This one is a Sigma cube. And this one is an ordinary cube. It's a rare find indeed. This one... Oh, cool. DS Wireless play. Well, there you go. Uh, Driss Wildless Play, we're not using that for obvious reasons. Just uh, access set up DS Wireless Play. I think that also does online, which is super dead now. Uh, start the lab system, yes. So let's awaken these boys. All right, awaken time. We got a couple. The Zo oh, this is the baby Zozane. Yeah, so this is a, a small form of that. Me, 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 me. I, I love just making noises in the microphone. Yeah, so this is the... the, the it, I forgot that he starts as like a rabbit. This is gonna be Zozo. Alright, I'm very boring. The Negu pod. That is a shrimp. That is assuredly a shrimp. Shrimp. Alright. No, he's a flying fish! With a single eye. That's kind of sick, actually. We're gonna call him Nago. Alright, the Samu Pod. He's got a part, so we want this guy. This dude I remember being sick. Uh... Yeah, so his starting form is a samurai rabbit little guy, which is, I mean, it's, it's good. Comes with the Satsuma custom part. Okay, so this guy's gonna be. Uh... No, 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 no. No boon. No, like, no, 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 like, no bunaga, but no, 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 no buna. Okay. And then we got this guy. He has a custom part. Uh... It's by volume, not by pitch, but... I forgot about this wheel of weird bird fella. Comes with the out twist custom part. I forgot about him. We got a bird up. Okay. So let's see if any of these are better at uh, being a search spectrobe. So if we go to this, so we got three, 
Six. Wow. Okay, we're using you then for now, buddy. Oh, but he can't find minerals. Ah, uh, see, that's that's the downside, right? Now you're five. Is that better? Yeah. So we'll we'll use you for now. We got a bird as our partner, so he'll be there. So let's go to the incubator. And uh, swap these around. So you're level five, so I'll leave you there for sure. Uh, we'll, we'll, we don't really need the Zozane, though, so we're not going to worry about that. But I do want the Samurai. So let's go to... Yeah. Let's pop in... You. And Shakin's also super rad, so we'll get these two guys some good stuff. Because I do really like both of these guys' upgraded forms. Okay. I wonder if they just need to get to level 5. Now the thing is, the custom parts, they could be for their first form or their second form. So, you know, I don't know which one we got for him. Nope, didn't want to switch him out. So we'll have to see. But let's go with... 1, 2, 3, we'll feed these boys. Because we got green, we got, you know, um, we got reds, but I need some blues. Okay. Alright. We'll give some defense. Eat him. All right. Wow, look at the defense on Samukabu. Nice. They do kind of go like one and then the other so you can tell when they're gonna go. Okay, so. I like to sort of have them race once they're ready. Alright. Who's gonna get it? Little guy. Alright, so let's see. What what do I need to uh, to evolve him? Because I'm curious. Samu Kabu. If I want to evolve him... Uh, let's see. He needs to be level 10 with 1.5 hours. Okay. The other one that we have is Shakin, who we get, um, he needs 120 attack. Okay. Okay. I see. Oh, that's slow down. Thanks, Chrome. You, we, we love you. All right. So then otherwise, might as well throw in a little baby Zozane in here. Right. And the last one will get you for now. Okay. I do like Corona, Aurora, and Flash as the elements. They're they're pretty good. Those are good names, right? Uh let's let's read read up on some of these guys that we got though. Well actually let's check out the, the, the parts that we got. Okay, so this so that's for his final form. And this is for it looks like his final form too. Okay, good good to know. Uh, otherwise, if we go to our database, let's let's read it. Let's read about some boys before we go to the next planet uh, for next time. So again, we got that and it is evolved into Bill Master's primary weapon is the sharp set of horns top its head. They gave him a great close range ability. He also has a hard exoskeleton. Right? I really like these designs. I really do. They're so good. Got our Egg Boy. Segu's in case of a brittle shell of armor. He likes to play tricks on other creatures by making it thinks he's an egg. He's a little shy. He's also a real prankster. We've got Segulos. Is a defense spectrobe. Has two large shoulder shields that he uses for protection during battle. He also attacks them uh, as weapons uh, when he attacks enemies. Okay, so now we got... 
What's this? Big Spico has a thick hair over its body. However, it's actually softer than it looks. Uses its hammer to uh, attach to a tail to bust open rocks while searching for minerals. And here's the Spike N. It's a very useful power type spectro, his close, especially his close range combat. When he flicks his flexible mace like tail, it can do incredible destructive damage. Well, honestly, one of the best and one of the best designs. And tell me about this guy. Nago, Nagu is a pretty laid back, is pretty laid back. He usually floats in the air. It says airborne uses two fin like winds. His solitary eye it looks like a colorfully painted lens. Okay. Yeah, flying fish on him. So then we got uh, the bird. Aoi sails uh, through the sky with excellent speed and skill. He's very intelligent when it comes to fossils or minerals. He spins and circles at high speed. I think he actually does that when you use him there, which is pretty fun. The main boy, the Pikachu. See, we got two colors. Kobainu has an extremely advanced intuition, which makes him quite useful when searching. He's a truly faithful ally and loves having his soft, curly ears padded. So yeah, he's a Ko uh, Kobainu dog, so you can immediately see the, the choice there. And then Shaken. Shaken may look like a dangerous fighter, but he's actually very calm and gentle. His body is constructed of extremely hard metal that will never break. Never. Diamonds. I love Shark Sword. That's so good. So we got two forms of you. Sosa can actually fly using his large wings as ears. He's a very determined creature and loves search things. He gets a little hyper when he finds cool stuff. Now, Zozane is a velocity spectrum, takes great pride in his amazing speed. He can bend his body like a spring, demolish enemies with a high speed rotation attacks, losing the flight. Sorry, you've grown up. Flight is gone. 16. So, yeah, here's our Samukabu. Is it a unique spectrum? His whole body is covered with a hard shell. He tries to act tough in order to hide the fact that he's rather timid. It's a samurai bunny. What more do you want? What more do you want? Uh, well, what we might want is, there are a few cards we can actually input, so I might as well. Now that we got the custom parts, I think there's a couple we can use with custom parts here. Oh, the slowdown, because I'm opening up Chrome. Chrome is so intensive, it kills DS games. Uh, let's see here. Now, is there one for just the parts, actually, now I'm looking at it? Yes, there is. Okay, cool. So, look at our little bird buddy. Look at him. So we do have a couple that we can put in to give us some parts that we might as well do right now. Uh, so for this one here, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five is about here. Six is down in the middle and seven is then lower here. Nope. Okay. Try that again. One, two, three, four. Four. So let's go five. Six. Oops. Six. No. Oh, see? Yeah, I know. I messed it up because it is a grid. Right? Yeah, I, I messed that one up. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So then it should be. So here and then down five. Mm, don't think it's going to be right. Six. Seven. Nope. Okay. Again, it's tough. And especially if you're playing on like a new 3DS XL, you're just screwed because the screen's bigger. Like that is legitimately a problem. Okay, so it's about here and then... Uh, I don't know about that. No. Yeah, no, because it's I'm, I'm going too far to the to the right. Five. Six. Nope. Dang. Five. Six. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It is, it is a grid. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Nope. Okay, so let's. Okay, so. All right, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. All right, so this is technically a four by three grid. So then five, six, seven. Oh yeah, well that's so much easier when you know it's literally just the grid that you can follow. Okay, so we get the Villa Grisp custom parts, which we can attach to our dude. Uh, we also have, let's see, is there, I don't think there's anyone else that we can actually get that'll have custom parts. Um, yeah, doesn't look like it, at least right now, again, for ones, I mean, we can also just get some Spectrobes to save our time. I might as well, screw it. Let's get some Spectrobes for ones that we can just skip ahead with. So one, two, three, four. I'm not going to be doing 100%. I'm not crazy. So five in the bottom corner. Six, seven. There we go. Let's just skip ahead and make our life easier. So we've upgraded our, our Shackin to a Shackor with the bristle attachment which is uh, the sword there being all bristly at the front, which is pretty cool. Uh, again, I'm only going to get ones that I have slash, you know, will be getting later. So one, two, three, four, and then we can go five. I think I messed that one up. Six. Yeah, I messed this one up. Seven. Yeah, that's fine. It wasn't close enough to the middle. One two, three, four, five, yep, six, seven, there we go. Yeah, man, once you know it's a grid, it's way easier, huh? It's way easier. So we got another Segulos, but this one with uh, propellers. He's Segulos Propos, which is fun to say. And I think that's pretty much it for dudes, because I'm not going to get ones that are, you know, anything else, really, right? Also, you can use all these in the sequel, which is really nice. I, I appreciate that. So let's equip our uh, our Villa Master with uh, its new weapon that we got for it. So you do have to put him in the incubator. It is, it is a bit of an annoying thing where you have to, like, you know, go in, you then... Bring in the boy. All right, Villa Master. So we can go with the custom part. And we got the Villa Grisp. So we put that on. And now you got spikes coming out of it. You break it open. Now he's Villa Master Sissa. Who are you calling a Sissa? But now he's got a different horn. There you go. So let's switch you in instead. Right? Not because you're stronger. Oh. oh, you can't line him up here. Well, that's fine. Bring you out. So. Let's exit here. Exit here. Let's go to line up. And let's put in you, because I don't like Zozane too much. We'll get you in there, and then Shack in. Sure, Shack or Bristol. Right? So you can see he has different sort of things there. Charge speed, charge speed, speed, right? So he, he affects the stats as it goes up there. So, um, yeah. And let's, you know what, Windora, we'll give him some use next time. And we'll also bring in you just to give you a shot. Okay, well, that said, uh, I think that's about it for our second part of Spectrobes. I am so loving this game again. I don't know. I don't know if people will be loving it, but it's just unlocking monsters. It's so fun. All right, guys, uh, we will see you next time for some more then, wherein we, uh, I think now that we've got that, we can head off to the next planet and do the next mission. So I will see you then for that, guys. Ciao.